Welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And it's time for us to take a look at our first topic, which has to do with the introduction of electric buses for public transportation in Lagos State. And I have as my guest, Mr. Olarewaju Olaboye. He's a software engineer and coding instructor. You're welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. All right, so how excited are you about these electric buses? Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about it because means, uh, Nigeria is taking one of the right steps to the future. Um, for, for a while now, many countries of the world are trying to look at what are the impacts of some, some activities we do as humans on the environment. Mm -hmm. How does um, our CO2 emissions, how do they affect um, climatic change? how do they deplete um, the ozone layer and cause um, greenhouse effects. Mm -hmm. And um, many countries, even places like Indonesia, are trying to have plans, a long-term plans, to uh, make sure that their public sector um, transportation majorly is moving towards um, the usage of alternative energy instead of the con uh, conventional combustion-based um, energies which we get from our petroleum. So um, I believe um, Lagos doing this is, uh, is a step in the right direction, um, but I will be asking um, many questions about it. One is, um, what is like the long-term plan? So, for instance, um, of course, it takes, it takes um, it's easy to get something, but it takes more effort to maintain, mm -hmm. to keep. So, uh, what is the plan in terms of um, how to manage it, the charging, um, what is the what is the plan yeah, that is why that? they said that this is this first set will be used to test run it. Okay. Yeah, it will be used to test run it because just like you, I have such questions. How can it be charged and driven in the rain? Can it be charged and driven in the rain? But yeah, I believe so because of course we've all been hearing about Tesla. Tesla, I haven't driven one, but um, I'm very sure people out there they drive it in snow, come rain, come sunshine. So far, you have enough um, energy stored in your battery. So um, I believe it can be driven in the rain. Of course, it, it should be uh, because, uh, of course, we are not even in, in, the, in the dry season, we are in the rainy season. Mm -hmm. So the, it can be driven in the rain. But what I would look at is because when I read the news, they said they are partnering with um, Orlando Energy um, Limited, Limited or something, yeah. Clean Energy Limited. And um, those are the people that are uh, going to be enabling them to charge this. So the question I will be asking is, um, the question I will be asking is, how many of such charging, charging stations, stations do we have? Can they sustain these buses? And um, what are the plans that, uh, particularly from the aspect of um, data, what are the plans of the local state governments uh, in terms of knowing what is, what is the, because one, one very big argument against alternative energy um, so far is always the cost. Mm -hmm. The cost of um, maintaining, um, storing those energy, the cost of maintaining um, how, you, uh, how, how, you, how you recharge them. And maintain yeah, them. And maintain them. So, it's, so what's, what's the data saying and what is their plans to track this data. So, for instance, in a place like Indonesia, like I mentioned, they have um, different people that are like data analysts that have come up with different models to even calculate what is the reduction in the CO2 as a result of introducing such buses. Mm -hmm. um, they've even gone to the length of, okay, even during COVID-19, they try to do, they just try to do an observation and they saw that their CO2 emission dropped by around 35 to 39 percent just because people stopped commuting so what so uh, we should look at it from replacement point of view we are replacing the, using this guy to replace um the carbon and yeah. what and also i think those are the next thing to be yeah. looking at majorly you're asking very interesting questions some of these questions that we were, we were ha we had hoped you would answer but will you understand that you are not <laughs> with government. the Labour State yeah. government, yeah. so we can we can understand that. But one of the questions, though, that some people, Lagosians particularly, will be asking is: Will this be cheaper than the ones they've been using, the BRT they've been using? Will this be a cheaper option for them? Do you do you know to that effect? Um, I don't know. Um, 
But one thing I know the government for is most times when they want things to work, they, they wouldn't even mind to subsidize the usage uh, for start. So um, is it going to be cheaper? I don't think so. But um, I think we can look at what we, we can just be on the lookout and see what the Lagos State Government and the, um, the Commission in charge of transportation um, are going to come up with in terms of the billing for the usage of of these electric buses but if i am to take a guess i will feel like the impact on the government's buses is going to be more huge than they actually expend on brt mm. the conventional brt we've had but uh the end price they give to the uh, customers i think they might subsidize this uh, for the beginning to to get more people on board um to create because this is also to an extent is going to also create another avenue because even the government at this point since they are not using the conventional um, buses, they will also want to partner with uh, maybe tech companies to give them real-time dashboards that gives them information about those. And I, I also don't know the, the, the technical um, depth of what is built into these, um, into these buses because it's also possible that the manufacturers have actually made many things, like calculating many things about the movement of mm -hmm. those the buses. Range yeah, of, the yeah. range of how long it can go on a particular mm -hmm. energy level. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so, so I think th those are the next thing that, uh, but if we can really introduce some things like this on a very large scale, I also believe it's going to not only um, have, uh, improve the CO2 emission in Lagos, I believe it's also going to uh, positively affects the health of Lagosians because there is less fumes to 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 yeah, just to the take. Yeah. So you it, know, I was I was reading and I saw that the making of the cars create uh, more emissions, and that's contradictory, isn't it? Because if it takes a, creates more emission in the making of a vehicle, how sure are we that uh, it's going to reduce emissions? Uh, well. You know, uh, you know, the whole of this, it's, uh, it's like an argument, uh, actually, because even at um, the global stage, some head of states will tell you they don't believe in climate, uh, climatic change in all this um, global warming. We've seen big politicians from different countries say that because, because some believe it is an agenda that the climate is just always changing. And even from the little we all learned um, in geography, back then in school, cl a climate is basically um, how your weather changes over a longer period of time. So that means giving sufficient enough time, even from what we were taught in school, your climate is meant to change. That's just the way it's meant to be. So um, is this, so that is now, that now de depends on which side of the fence you are on. Mm. If you believe um, climatic change is a real threat um, to the environment, to our ability to get uh, eroded, as uh, a planet, so that is um, that is your own uh, point of view. And if you also believe that it's normal for it to change, for instance, I, I don't know uh, how valid it was. I was reading something online um, that there is maybe a particular town um, in some country that is trying to go fully virtual because where their land area is, the uh, ocean is actually encroaching their land. So they have less so they are trying to move out but they don't want to lose like their heritage mm. so they are trying to create an online platform for their people to stay so we can't say it is entirely a lie mm. but we also can't say that um it is such a threat it, 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 yeah it yeah be. it's yeah i think it's it's based on it's based on whether you see the glass as uh, half filled or half em empty. empty so that's just my own uh, answer to that. Well, knowing Nigerians as you do, and may, let's specify, let's be more specific, knowing Lagosians as you do, do you see them embracing this? In terms of psychology, do you see them embracing this? Yeah, I, be, I believe so, because um, one thing is this. I, 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 there's one thing about um, Lagosians, it's that uh, anything that is kind of trending, particularly in the outside world, mm -hmm. if there is going to be a state or a city in Nigeria that is going to try to adopt it first, it's most likely going to be Lagos. So, so I believe most Lagosians are, they are open-minded to new things, to new ideas. It's like the Lagos way, kind of. So I don't think Lagosians will have issue using it. In fact, it might even make more people, when people feel like, oh, 
it's easier or it's faster for me to get to work um, mm -hmm. using these electric buses. You see more people even probably deciding to use to use the public buses uh, very well because we also during um, the introduction, the first introduction of BRT, mm -hmm. it, it actually did improve the gridlock um, situation oh, in Lagos until over uh, over time that many things came into play, change of power and even how the overall implementation of all the rules around the maintenance of the BRT, the management of the traffic around it, how it's been run since after that time, took us to where has taken us to where we are kind of so 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 i, I that, that that's my own answer to that also all right well thank you so much for your <laughs> insight on this we'll take a break and come back to take a look at web development which is your specialty isn't it uh, stay with us we'll be right back <laughs>